Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Before I get started, I do want to warn you that this video involves politics. However, I will be tying it into veganism eventually uh, in a way that I feel is relevant. So with that being said, decide now whether you wish to uh, continue watching or not. You have been warned. Recently, BuzzFeed's Try Guys, as they're called, a uh, group of guys named Eugene, Ned, Keith, and Zach uh, did a video on male attractiveness, more specifically uh, in attempts to find out who was the hottest of those four. Uh, for those who are not aware, BuzzFeed is a liberal-leaning media outlet. They run articles about all the usual subjects you'd expect from sensitive social justice liberals, such as racism, feminism, and hilariously, in the case of this video, toxic masculinity. So, imagine my surprise at 3 minutes and 26 seconds into their male attractivity video, uh, which I will link below for you to check out yourselves, we find that the testosterone levels are precisely what you'd expect from male BuzzFeed staffers. All four of them, not just one, two, or even three, but all fucking four of them had really low testosterone levels, abysmally low. Worse yet, three of the four actually had levels below what is considered normal for a healthy male at any age. The normal range for males is about 270 to 1070 nanograms per deciliter with an average level of 679 nanograms per deciliter. This means that three out of the four of them had levels as bad as 21% below the bottom end of normal healthy range. To put that into perspective, uh, using an opposite extreme, as I've discussed in two previous videos, testosterone levels 20 to 30 percent above the top end of the normal range will begin to provide supernormal muscular gains you'd expect from steroid use. So three out of these four guys are essentially polar opposites of moderate steroid users. That's just how unmanly that they are. Uh, and they may actually qualify for testosterone replacement therapy due to possessing a very real medical problem. Uh, what's worse, they're only 27 to 30 years old. Their testosterone level should be at least 58 to 66 percent higher for their age bracket, and that's just to be considered average. While Eugene, who is 31 years old, had the highest levels of the four, he still had levels that would be considered below average for a man who is 85 to 100 years old, and 41% below what is considered the average for his age bracket. This is really bad, and it's a sign of bigger problems. Low testosterone is a real medical condition known as hypogonadism. It can cause erectile and sexual dysfunction, as well as infertility, weight gain, weakness, depression, and mood swings. It also comes with an 88% increased likelihood of death in men over 40. And even BuzzFeed admits that liberals suffer more from various mental disorders, especially depression and anxiety, than do conservatives. Depression is a side effect of low testosterone, as I've discussed. And all four of these BuzzFeed dudes have low T. All four. I feel like I need to keep reiterating that. Honestly, what were the chances of that rate of occurrence among such a small sample size? A study published in the Evolution and Human Behavior Journal in September of 2017 found that weaker men were, unsurprisingly, more likely to favor socialist policies than stronger men. We also know that liberals are more likely to be driven by emotions than conservatives. So perhaps the liberal madness and absurdity that we see or hear about on a daily basis, like the running joke that is Antifa, are actually a side effect of a widespread low testosterone problem as turning society into a bunch of soft, whiny, uncompetitive, overly emotional, irrational pussies. And bringing upon the very destruction and decay of Western society and her founding values. In a recent video, I discussed the documented ever-worsening generational drop in testosterone levels among men, and how men have 30% lower testosterone on average in 2017 than they did in 1987. And I've linked that video below for you to watch. 
Those four BuzzFeed guys are perfect cases in point to my previous video. In that video, I discussed all of the culprits for such a problem, and there are many, uh, as well as ways that you can reclaim your life and health. I also discussed the negative impacts that this problem has on country, economy, security, way of life, and ultimately the future, all backed by research. We're spiraling the shitter, folks, and something needs to be done about this degeneracy which spreads like a disease. And it is affecting veganism too. For instance, you have intersectionality, which is pathological social justice virtue signaling at its finest. One that bastardizes the core definition of veganism by grossly co-opting the movement. Essentially, robbing it from the non-human animals it initially sought to support. But more on that subject in due time when Isaac of Ask Yourself and I tackle the subject with logic. Uh, you also have the negative stereotype that vegans are weak and beta, uh, which is certainly not helped by the obviously larger liberal presence in the movement, uh, given what I've discussed. And I'm not just talking about physicality here, but also mentality. For instance, and I won't give a name, but there is a quite popular vegan fitness YouTuber who sports decent musculature, but recently revealed himself to be an absolute cuck when it comes to his apologizing for Islam in the face of the constant terror attacks upon Europe, uh, proving that you can be muscular and still be a fucking pushover. Personally, I think it's not only high time for the rise of Chad nationalism, as it's called. Which is essentially, in your face, proud, confident, alpha male nationalism. But it's also time for something I've recently coined, Chad veganism, which is inspired by Chad nationalism. To not only provide counterpoint to how vegans are generally viewed, but to also attract new, tough vegans of the lifter and fighter varieties, uh, to attract strong, no bullshit, driven men to veganism by starting a like-minded community within veganism. So I want you to start hashtagging Chad Veganism. I want you all to lift, to get strong, to learn to fight, and to represent. Uh, whether you're a male or a female. As the ladies among us can become like shield maidens and set a strong example too. The more of us who are healthy, strong, and formidable, the better. And my ebook, Beast Mode by Science, can help you achieve the strength and physique fitting for the cause by optimizing your hormone levels and gains naturally using a scientific approach that I've not personally seen applied anywhere else, all which is supported by over 100 human studies. That ebook is linked below if you're interested. Uh, there's no better time than now to improve yourself. So share this video and pass on this message and push back hard against the truly toxic weakness by embracing so-called toxic masculinity. Anyway, give this video a like if you found it interesting. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and hit that bell button to keep on top of my regular updates. With that, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Fuck it, pussy.